Hey guys, just going to very quickly show you um, a little bit of software I've got here for the um, Audi A1. I had, a, I had an airbag fault come on the dash there and um, a couple other things I wanted to do. The car was going bleep bleep every time I was unlocking it and it was doing my head in. So, um, you know when you take, you take these things to Audi, there's like 70 notes, 70 pounds, just check it out. And uh, that's before they even do anything. So anyway, cutting to the chase, you can get this VCDS software off eBay for like 50 quid. And you get a lead and it plugs into the UBD diagnostics port down here. Yeah, it's not rocket science, people. It just plugs into your car. It goes into the USB port, yeah. Honestly, you know, it's not rocket science. You literally, you get the lead... And you get the disc, you install the software. It's for Vagil, Volkswagen, Skoda, Seat, Audi. And uh, you plug it in. I did have a problem getting the software installed, but the guy I bought it from was quality and he, he sorted it out for me. But basically, you're able to just go in and just like change stuff. Um, oh, you got a bit of a glare there, sorry. I'll persevere. But you got to be careful with what you do. But it's, it's, it's things like airbags there for example I um, I had a fault so fault code and it was basically came up driver's airbag um, fault it, it was summon enough and I actually got a technician to take this off and have a look and it was like a tiny tiny trap wire and um, so he fixed that and then with the software I just cleared the code there number five and that airbag light which shows about there on the audi a1 it just disappeared yeah it wasn't a hard job to get rid of but you can just do a lot of stuff with this kind of software i sorry this video is a bit shaking a bit pants but i'm just basically doing a quick spare the moment video but you can do loads of stuff on it like if you go into number nine which is your central electronics and then leave it a second to load up on the sensors and then you go into coding long code of help okay you can do things like you can switch stuff up and on yeah see these options you get in here which load up tick and on tick stuff like I had one I switched off do you remember I saying about every time I unlock the car it was going bleep bleep. There you go, that was it. Hang on. Oh, it's hard work. Sorry. See the bit one? Locking confirmation via horn active. That was on. And bit four, unlocking confirmation via horn active. That was on, so I just unticked them. And basically, now it doesn't annoy the hell out of me when I lock and unlock the car. But sorry, just going back into that. Cancel, sorry, coding, long out coding. I'm pressing the down key, key here, you see this, yeah? You just loads and loads and loads and loads of options you can do. And you can change on your car. Some coding's accepted and other isn't. But it's pretty, there's endless, endless stuff you can do. Um coming home assistance lights on lights off emergency braking hazard flashing all sorts of stuff i'm not i don't announce myself to be some sort of uh, professional with this software i've literally just got it so i'm playing about with it but when i say playing about with it i'm carefully playing about with it do you know what i'm saying i'm not getting myself into any sort of trouble council uh, council what you can basically do is you can like if you can check for error codes and stuff and where there might be problems in your car and then you if once you know roughly where the problem is you can go and get it fixed so there's quite a lot of um, options there it's pretty vast so you can get this software off ebay for like 50 notes 50 pound and then it comes with a lead that plugs in um, yeah, I mean, some stuff like steerable angling, 
sensors and stuff like that I imagine you've got to be really 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 careful with um, but there's tons of videos on YouTube that are better than mine that I advise you go and watch this one particular one's not working see how it's trying to find it no problem it's fine some it does that with not all of them just one or two it'll do that with but um, it's a software I'm not going to play around with too much to be honest I've kind of done what I wanted to do which is one to get rid of the airbag light and two switch off this annoying bleep bleep every time I locked and unlocked the cars and also I took the guy to this the, the car to this to this guy in um, South End on Sea somewhere near Whitby and he stupidly put this anti hijack thing on where when you unlock the car this door would unlock, but these wouldn't until you press the key twice. Oh man, that was annoying. So um, with this software, you can switch stuff like that off and on. So yeah, it's good. Anyway, sorry guys, that's it. Quick overview of VCDS release 15.7. Um, don't became to be uh, an expert, so you know, either get it, give it a try, or ask an expert, because it ain't me.